Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this video, I'm going to be going over a bucket plugin called Chesscraft. What it allows you to do is play chess in Minecraft, and it's actually very nice. It has the um, correct pieces and all of that. So we're going to start out by creating a, bar a board. And to do this, we're going to do forward slash chess, create, B-O-A-R-D, board, and the name of the board, so I'm just going to call it board1. And then it's going to say left click to create board one, right click to cancel. So I'm just going to create mine right here. So if I left click, it will create the board. So now this is the board. I'm going to go into creative. And it has the correct size and all that. Over here it has board info. So I can create game, invite player, invite anyone, start game, um, offer draw, resign, and game info. So, I'm actually going to create a game. Now, there is commands for this. For example, for chess, I can just do chess create game, just like that. But I'm going to show you with this board. So, I'm going to right-click on the create game. So, I've created a game, and now I have the option on this chest to invite a player, invite anyone, or start game. If you start game, it just plays against a computer, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to right-click on that to start the game. Now over here it actually shows the time elapsed for each player playing and all your options are right here so you right click to do all of these options. So to move a piece all you have to do is click on the piece by left clicking there can't be anything in your hand. So I've selected my pawn at C2 left click a square or another piece to move your pawn left click the pawn again to cancel. So let's just say I wanted to move this pawn right here. I would just click right there, and it would move the pawn where I'm aiming. Now, the computer just went all by itself, so it moved up right there, and the game would just continue like that. So I would move, and I can move everything how I would want to. So, for example, I can move this horse right here, etc., etc. And, yeah, I can go over here and see my other options I can offer draw or resign so if I resign right click on it I have resigned the game of chest meaning I quit so now I can go to game info and see all of the information I can do promotions and just play chest it's a very very simple um, there are a lot of commands so for example if I do chest chess list game it will give me all of the games. Um, I can invite players by chess, invite, and then the player name. But most of the stuff that you're going to be needing is right here on this. And everything in here is protected, so you don't really have to worry about that. Um, this is a rather nice plugin. I'm going to show you some of the configuration in just a sec. Um, you can also archive the game, so I can do chest and then archive and it will archive it but I obviously have to be playing the game that's why I got an error so now let's get on to the configuration of this plugin okay so now I'm going to show you the config of this plugin so I'm going to go into my plugins installing the plugin is actually very simply just drag the um, jar file in there run your server and it will create this so here you have your board style styles so you can customize all of this so for example if I go to my board styles and I click the large one, it will give, give me an option of the size of it, the height, the white space, black space, so you can customize all the blocks. Um, generally, this is a very, very customizable plugin, and it's pretty self-explanatory, as you saw there. It gives you little notes on exactly what you're configuring, so you're not very confused when you're trying to do this. We have data, so we have boards, games, so here's the board one I created. It was with the standard board style, it was west standard. So you can actually change this through the configuration if you'd like to. You have games, so there's no games going on. We have results, results, and etc. So there's also the config, which is the main thing I want to get into. So we have broadcast results, true. That's if somebody wins or loses, it broadcasts to the whole server if somebody has won or lost. No explosions, self-explanatory, no building, that's just protection, no creatures. 
Um, makes it so no creatures are in there, no burning, so nothing catches on fire. Auto save true, uh, wand item air. So if you wanted to, you could have it so somebody can have a certain item in their hand to play the game. We have tick interval, which I would just leave alone if I was you. We have auto teleport on join, so if somebody joins the game, it automatically teleports them in the game. Timeout forfeit, 60 seconds, no PV, true, so that's just more protection. We have your stake settings, we have the highlight last move, which is, I think, with the glowstone. Auto delete, so after you play the game, after 15 seconds, it'll automatically delete your pieces. Not started, running, no monsters damage, um, no MSC damage, no monster attacks, so that's just more protection things. Then we have the AI, which is the computer, so AI, max AI games, minute move weight, I mean minimum move weight, and then you can customize the prefix and use open book. And then we have the initial position settings, we have the win points, so you can set points for people. We have the auto start, time control, and the version. So that is the entire config, it's a pretty good large config. We also have the AI settings which I'm not totally going to get into but you can probably figure it out. If I didn't go anything or I missed something you can easily find out how to do anything just by going to the bucket dev page right here and you can learn everything about using the plugin so I recommend the quick start guide and then it will give you all the information you need, such as permissions, creating a board, creating a game, playing against human, playing against computer, playing the game after the game, and a lot more. So that is this plugin. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or ask the plugin developer. To download it, just go to this page and click the download link right here, or just click download up here, and you'll be good to go. So I hope you have a good day, and goodbye.